Okay, everybody, by now I'm sure you have all seen that we are getting the Great Deku Tree coming out in September. And first impression, it looks fantastic. I'm sure a lot of people out there have been waiting for this to be made as a set. Uh, I, for one, have never really been a Zelda fan. Uh, my wife is currently playing Breath of the Wild right now. Um... But I, I can appreciate the the design, and I can appreciate the fact that it's a very welcome addition to a lot of people's collections. What I don't agree with, however, is the fact that it is going to be retailing at $300. Now, <clears throat> it comes with 2,500 parts and four minifigures. And you might think, okay, you know, 10 cents per part, and then about 10 bucks per figure, it gives you about, what, 290, basically. And okay, but then if you put it into perspective, back in 2001, we got the Daily Bugle set, and that retailed originally for $300, the exact same price as the Great Deku tree is going to be. That set, however, had 3,789 parts and 25 minifigures. 25. You got over a thousand more parts and 21 more minifigures. Now, the problem with the Great Deku Tree, the reason why it is the price it is, is most likely due to licensing fees from Nintendo, which I can understand. But, in the perspective of this other bigger set, with way more figures being the same price from three years ago. It's not an acceptable price point. Uh, honestly, what they should have done, because if you look at it, the two-in-one, you get to build it with the Ocarina of Time design or the Breath of the Wild design. The problem with that is that there are a bunch of pieces... Specifically all the flowery stuff that you use for the Breath of the Wild design uh, that you are not going to be using for the other design. So you have this big pile of parts sitting there unused while you have whichever build that you wanted sitting on your shelf. Which means, technically, the set isn't even a 2500 part set. And then, like, what do you do with those extra parts? They're just sitting there. They're not doing anything. I mean, there are several other sets that they've had over the years where you can build it two different ways. But this price point on this one is so high that it doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. My point is, what they should have done was released it as two separate sets. You, you have two figures and half the parts going to the Ocarina of Time version, and then you've got two figures and the other half of the parts going towards the... Breath of the Wild version. And then you sell them for like 115, 120 a piece. Super easy. The people who want one will get that one. The people who want the other will get the other one. Like there's no reason to have it $300. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining. I'm not going to get the set. But people are freaking out like, oh my god, it's so good. But then you look at the price tag. And I don't know. I cannot justify $300 for what you get. 
All right, see you guys.